Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So let me get the boat in the water and I'll start talking. So, uh, I'm gonna go down the river, spend the night on the river. I'm canoeing the South Saskatchewan River. I just left town. My destination is about 60 kilometers down the river. The current is in that direction. Unfortunately, there's a very strong headwind blowing in this direction. Nothing like those hurricane headwinds that they experience down south. But nonetheless, it kind of cancels out any advantage afforded by the river current, although there is still a general drift in that direction, but very slow. So I'm hoping the wind dies down, I can fully capitalize on that river current. This is how people used to travel with large loads. It's probably one of the best ways to travel is to utilize the river systems, especially in the way of the current. It's one of the greatest ways to harness the energy of nature is just to jump on it and let it take you where you need to go. So I guess the point of this video is to ask you and to, I guess, get your insights on uh, using river systems as a means of commute in a grid down scenario. Because they really are a great way to move large amounts of supplies from one place to another. This is how they used to do logging in Canada. In many places, they would float the logs down the river and the United States, pretty common practice, I think across North America. So I would encourage you to be familiar with your, oh, there's a nice big white tail there. Too bad I didn't have my bow. It's bow season right now. Anyways, what was I saying? I would encourage you to know the river systems within your region and get yourself a canoe, Personally, I think you should get a kayak, especially one of these sit on top kayaks. I'm really impressed with how they handle. They float in shallower water, maybe not as easy to portage and maybe not as good in the sense that they don't, you know, you can't sleep underneath them. Well, you could, you could probably make a makeshift lean to. These geese are being very loud. There they go. See me, they're flying away. The geese have started to fly south already. So know the river systems in your region and know the potential hazards along the way. Where there's water, there's people. So it's potentially dangerous to travel in this way if you don't know what you're doing and you don't know where you're going, don't know where the major landmarks are. So what I'm challenging myself to do right now is do this canoe trip. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. It really depends on how far I can make it. By tomorrow night, my wife's gonna pick me up. This isn't really a fast, fast moving river, but I'm gonna be doing a uh, video about kayaks. This is the Pelican Catch 120 NXT. It's a stand on kayak, so you can stand on it. I'm not gonna stand on it right now because that would be a big sail in the wrong direction and I wouldn't get anywhere. It's a little wide. So you really got to widen your paddle stroke and I'm getting another paddle which will be a bit larger. This one works. This 
kayak can carry 400 pounds, so that's myself, and about 215 pounds of gear. It's got many different hatches. I'm gonna be doing a review on the kayak itself. I actually have a couple of these. One I purchased, and the other one, after I purchased it, I contacted the company. I said, hey, you know, I really like this boat. I wanna show it on my channel. Would you be interested in sponsoring the channel? That's usually what I do with gear. If I like it, I buy it. Then I contact the company and say, look, you make a great product. I'd like to share this with my viewers. I don't endorse anything that I don't test, that I don't believe in, that I wouldn't buy myself. It's the difference between a sellout and a person who is truthful is you actually use what you promote and I always use what I promote. Everything you see on this channel that gets a thumbs up for me is in some way, shape or form implemented into my preparedness measures. Anyways, like I was saying, very important to know the, the routes, the hazards. In addition, these uh, rivers are great places for hunting because the animals come here to drink. You got geese, waterfowl, you got lots of small creatures, you got small game, big game. Lots of places to camp. Having to move stuff through the bush is incredibly challenging work. Like if I had to move 200 pounds of gear through the bush and I didn't have a monowalker and an already made trail, man, that would be tough. But on water, it's a breeze. You just paddle, that's it. I can keep a pace with this paddle. This might look like it's hard, but yes, I, I do a lot of physical stuff, but this is kind of like jogging. If you keep a good pace, if you're not going too fast, you're not going to get any lactic acid build up in your arms, your shoulders, your lats. You just kind of take it easy, find a good pace that you can maintain. I can pretty much do this for hours. I'm not saying my paddling ability is the best. You could bring it up a little more. But right now I'm not trying to, to go hard. I'm not trying to go fast. If I wanted to go fast, I'd dig in a lot deeper like that. And I'm also trying not to get myself soaking wet. It's the way the wind's blowing. It's kind of blowing right back at me. So yeah, know the river systems in your region, even if you don't have a boat. You know, know which way the current goes. Like I say, the major choke points, landmarks, towns along the way, a lot of towns along these river systems, major bridges. The river is a source of life. The river is uh, like a main artery of the earth. It provides a vital fluid that life needs to survive. So you need to be able to know how to exploit it. You need to be comfortable with it. You can even just go and rent a ca kayak or a canoe. Personally, like I said, I think a kayak's the way to go. Just a lot more agility. Anyways, folks, I'm gonna get back to this lovely this is just a very enjoyable experience, canoeing down the river like this on a nice day. There's nothing better. There's no place I would rather be. It'd be great if the rest of my family could be here. Fortunately, some of them are too small and uh, mom's in school trying to be a nurse. 
So, but I tell you, man, this is the life. I wish I could do this for a living. Even though I like my job, I like motivating people to change their lives, do better for themselves. This is an absolutely fantastic way to get exercise, to get familiar with your region, to sightsee, to do wildlife spotting, to enhance your survival skills. Lots of hawks in the air, birds of prey, geese, grouse, duck, all manner of waterfowl be found. Alright folks, let's cut the video there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Canadian Prepper out.